NTV's team contacted Lancet Laboratories, which is authorized and licensed to carry out DNA testing. Dr. David E. Kawalia, a pathologist in charge at the labs, explained that people test for DNA not only to ascertain parentage, but also kinship and profiling. There are also other things that are called DNA profiling, where sometimes we look for um, uh, either uh, risk of getting certain diseases, etc., genetic diseases that you inherit from your parents. Dr. Kawalia told NTV the categories of clients received. Usually these have either been sent by court or um, it's a case that is contentious. He said that before samples are taken, proper identification of the clients is required. Usually the witnesses plus the alleged father and the mother, they will present um, identification that is kept on file uh, before we proceed with the DNA testing. These are then taken through what the entire process entails and the risks involved. So we make it aware to them that the results may be psychologically uh, traumatizing and that they may seek help. Before progressing, consent is required from the participating parties. So we require consent from a legal guardian. And uh, most of the times this is the mother and in addition to the consent, most of the times we also uh, have witnesses. So they could either be court-appointed witnesses or, for, for example, the lawyers, or just um, um, that there's a witness uh, where the process is being taken to make sure that uh, at the end of the day we don't have you know, someone contesting. The laboratory then proceeds to collect the sample using blood as a specimen. Uh, it's the sample. Uh, that we prefer for DNA testing. Though there are other samples that can be used, for example, you can use a swab from the inside of a mouth, um, you can use hair, uh, you can use body parts that, uh, that have either been obtained maybe uh, through uh, maybe a surgical process, etc. And then you can run, you can extract DNA and then you run DNA testing. And the reason why we prefer certain samples to others is the complexity of processing these samples. So for example, blood is easy to process. Like what I've told you, the FTA cards, you just put a drop and um, you're able to extract DNA from those cards. Contrast that to hair, which requires several steps to extract DNA. The sample is received in the lab and the documents are cross-checked. Before we even open, before we start running the lab tests on these, we have to make sure that the seals are intact and that all the documents that were collected when we were collecting the sample um, are, are there and that the chain of custody is still intact. We do not run the, 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 the test if uh, there's any doubt to the chain of custody. With the samples sent to South Africa for testing, the client has to wait for between two to three weeks for the results which must be released in the presence of all the parties involved. Actually for court cases we want all the witnesses and the people who are there when we're taking off samples to be available when we're opening the results. Okay, so that the, 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 there's no um, claims of, of manufacture of results. Benjamin Jumbe, NTV.